Okay, this uh, video is going to show you a couple of little quick rigging tips. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the follower plugin to <clears throat> go ahead and uh, make some secondary motion on this dragon's wing here. Um, what I want is these bones here on the tips to kind of follow this this main bone here so that when I swing this bone around um, I'll get these ones to animate on their own without me having to do anything. So um, I'm going to click on this first one here. I'm going to press M to bring up the motion options. I'm going to go ahead and add the follower plugin. Double click on that. And uh, the, the follower plugin will allow one item to mimic the motion of another one with uh, a variety of different results here. As you can see, I have many options. So I'm going to select that. Um, let's see here. The R wing. Oh, okay. Our wing tip one. All right, I'm going to turn off the position ones because we don't want to jump into place in the scale. We don't want to jump or scale into the place of there. In fact, I'm going to turn off everything. The only thing I'm interested in is the heading. So I want the heading um, of that bone to follow the heading of, of that first one with a little bit of a delay. So I'm going to give it a time delay of 0.2. Continue. I'm going to copy this. I'll go to this one, paste. I'm going to leave everything the same except I'm going to add the time delay to 0.4 and paste and I'll do 0.6 on this one and this last one paste and then this one is going to be 0.8. Oops. Okay, so now when I rotate this bone so, for example, if I do an animation of his wings kind of flapping, <clears throat> and I rotate this bone down, and then I go ahead and pull his wings back up, rotate this bone up again. When I play this, you'll see that I get this smooth secondary motion. I didn't animate these bones on the end at all. So if I go ahead and move this back down a little bit, to really show you, oops, and when I play this, you'll see that those bones <clears throat> kind of flow into place there, and uh, I didn't have to animate any of those. So I could do that for all these little bones in his wing here. I could add the follower plugin based on what I want them to follow, and I get that secondary motion. I don't have to keyframe any of that. Um, of course, you're only getting that one type of motion, so unfortunately, if you bring up the follower plugin menu, you'll see that none of these parameters can be animated. But um, it's useful for, for certain types of things, and it's useful for various working purposes. But that's just something I want you, you to be aware of. You can use that to, to uh, do something like this. All right, let's go ahead and let me show you another thing that I thought I should let everybody know about. If you're starting out with animating. Okay, here's General Grievous. You may have seen him before on my videos here. <clears throat> and uh, the way I have him rigged up here is I have his legs controlled by IK Inverse Kinematics. Let's go to Setup and where is Enable IK. Alright. And so I have this object here which I always call Main Mover which is separate from the pelvis. Um, I use this object to move his whole body around and to let his hips sink and stuff like that while his feet stay stay in place. Um, <clears throat> if I select the General Grievous model itself, you'll see this bounding box around him that surrounds. This is the bounding box for this object. And here's something I found out very painfully uh, one time when I was going through and animating something. Let's say I want him to go ahead and move forward, uh, walk forward for about 30 frames, and then jump. So let's say I would. I would move him forward. I would, of course, I would, you know, keyframe his legs walking and animating and stuff. Okay. Let's let's say he, you know, walks or something like that. I mean, this is the most god awful uh, walk cycle animation you've ever seen, but it's just here to illustrate a point. close that. Alright, so let's say I animated him walking. 
and he gets to this point, and then I want to have him maybe leap up in the air and somersault. And uh, let's say I'll, I'll go here, and I'll keyframe. Oh, you saw it too early. I'll keyframe that. Now, if I want him to spin around, and um, I would probably want to select the object as a whole because, as you can see, um, these, uh, these objects here, by necessity, have to remain in place. So if I were to use this mover object or the pelvis or whatever to try to spin him around, uh, I'm going to have a hard time because these IK targets are going to be doing their own thing. So what I would want to do in order for him to do a somersault is to select the model itself and rotate that. But as you can see, I've left the bounding box of this model behind. That's because I've been animating this thing going off and doing its own thing. And um, the if you can if you want to see this you'll see as I animating it uh, that um, his uh, geometry is moving away from the bounding box of this object and so when I try to animate when I do try to finally animate this um, bounding box of this object it's going to be impossible for me to get the uh, animation that I want because he's going to be rotating around uh, something completely, you know, a, a pivot point that's completely different from what I want. So what I would want to do is, let me reload the scene, is plan it out ahead and know that, okay, so I want him to move forward for 30 frames. So instead of using the pelvis object or the mover object or whatever you have controlling your character's um, body, I would actually move the actual object itself and make sure that the bounding box moves with the object. And then I would move that there. All right. And then if I want him to do a jump with a flip, <clears throat> now as you can see, if I want him to flip around, as you can see, he can well, of course it's not going to work right cuz I haven't keyframed these things earlier, but but as you can see, I can actually get him to move around and do the spinning move the way I wanted to.